a blessed Wednesday to us. Actually, in order to put the whole message of today's gospel reading, we should include the verse that follows it, which is verse 20, where Jesus says, unless you surpass the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Now, why is this very significant in this particular context? Because Jesus is talking about the fulfillment of the law. And the fulfillment of the law, according to the Pharisaic and the scribal understanding and practice, actually, is to follow the law to the letter. That's why there is an interesting section in today's Gospel reading. Not the smallest letter. You know, if you, if you know Greek, how to write the, the, the alphabet in the Greek alphabet, there are large letters and there are small letters. Just like in English. But then there is an expression, the smallest part of a letter. Now, the original expression here is, even the ayuta of a letter. Nganong na may ayuta of the letter? Ayuta in Greek is the letter I. But when you write some forms, some verbs, some, some words, sometimes the ayuta is not written on the line but underneath the letter no? to, to, to show certain variations. And what does this tell us? Everything that the letter of the law speaks is none other than a reflection of the word, which is actually... God's word, because the law is the, God, is, the, is the word of the Lord. And this word is a manifestation of his will. That's the reason why uh, we, can, we can read in context here what the prophet Isaiah said in, in chapter 40, verse 8. Okay? Uh, Everything will pass, the grass withers, the flower wilts, but the word of the Lord endures forever. And this is basically the reason whether written or unwritten, it remains the same. The same will of the God who loves and who cares for us and even punishes us. And this is now the, the question where the fulfillment has to be done beyond the letter because this is what the spirit of the law is. And the spirit of the law, as usually and commonly understood, is that spirit that comes from the very heart from God, the very heart of God, and from the very heart of us. That's why all commandments, whether it is the Ten Commandments, the, the, the covenant law, okay, the, the law on the Jubilee, which we have from Exodus to Deuteronomy, two-thirds of all these 103 chapters are full of the laws that the people had to follow. But all of this can only be summarized into one which is none other than love. And that love comes from the will, the desire, and the strong decision that we have to make. It goes beyond one's thinking, because to love God and to love each other, to love our neighbors has to come from the will. And the seat of the will is our heart. And so with this interesting, uh, what we call example and constant reminder, Hopefully, and as we go through the season of Lent, towards the very heart of it, may we be able to see also the heart of hearts and our expression, not just in words, because beyond words, the spirit of the word is found in the actions and the good deeds that we do. Amen.